Hello YouTube and welcome to Heathen Hacks. Today we are going to make an Android TV box cooling platform using a cardboard box, a portable USB fan, and a box cutter. Or a Dremel. Let's go! A lot of Android TV boxes on the market, especially the ones on the cheaper variety, have a relatively small heatsink and or not so good ventilation or vent locations for airflow that sometimes causes it to thermal throttle. This is how I gave my Android box a cheaper and easier to do cooling boost. Instead of drilling holes and installing a small laptop fan on the box, I used a pretty cheap portable USB fan. So first, I looked for a cardboard box that seemed to have the same size as the fan. I'm going to make some sort of a stencil using the fan so I can trace it using my Dremel later. Now for the intake vents. You can use a box cutter or a utility knife if you want to. I just use my Dremel since I haven't really used it much. Of course, before you use anything that would produce dust, you will need some protection. Now for the tracing part. As you can see here, it does not fit. So I'm going to have to sand it a little bit. It still does not fit. Might as well make some side vents. Okay, looks like I'm going to need to make some more adjustments then. I think it's time to try a different bit. Checking if it fits. Hmm, I guess this is okay. Now, for some intake vents. Not too bad, eh? It fits perfectly now. I made a total of 4 intake vents because the fan will have a hard time sucking air from the bottom if it's sealed. Here's a little demo or visualization of the airflow.
First of all, please ignore that input not support thing, I know it's annoying. This is the test without the fan. As you can see here, we will start with 40 degrees Celsius. I will play a movie in the background for about 10 minutes while watching the temperature rise up. After just about 4 minutes, it's 50 degrees already. By the way, I'm in a room with a closed door and closed windows with a wall fan on the highest setting. For about another 5 minutes or so, it rises up to 60 degrees after approximately 10 to 12 minutes of runtime. I turned off the device for about 10 minutes to let it cool down. Now, I will monitor the temperature of the device while it sits on the cooling platform that I just made. Starting at minute 1, the device's temperature is 40 degrees Celsius. Then, after 15 minutes of runtime, the temperature capped at 49 degrees. That's a difference of 11 degrees Celsius. 